the decision on indicting the officer that uh, killed Mike Brown is expected at any moment. What's your message to people as they watch Ferguson respond? It may not be pretty in the way that the media depict the right. reaction. Well, what has happened in suburbs like Ferguson has happened in suburbs outside of major urban areas that have primary, primarily African-American communities. Newark would be an example. So in a city like Newark, you uh, were able to build a kind of black power structure. And Amira Baraka's son is now the mayor of Newark, which blunts not so much the oppression, the oppression is still there, but it, it ameliorates the oppression and the rage. It, it acts the way the old liberal class does to give a small kind of safety valve. In these suburbs, they have replicated the urban areas of the 1960s, where you have a majority African American population. Uh, and we see this outside of places like Newark. And yet the power structure is white utterly tone deaf to its own citizenry. And because of the so-called war on drugs and the corruption within the legal system, police officers in America can commit acts of murder against unarmed citizens and never have any kind of, uh, there are never any consequences. There are no ramifications for committing murder. It happens almost, you know, I don't want to say every day, but certainly every week in this country. And so the Michael Brown thing is just this long, accumulation of black families watching black men being slaughtered, unarmed black men being slaughtered in their streets. And, uh, and, and you know, it looks like this grand jury is going to let this cop go. And uh, there's no question. I mean, at this point, you know, it's almost irrefutable yeah. that this guy shot a young man with his hands up in the air. And the forms of character assassination that they have, you know, carried out, which the mass media has, you know, amplified. Um, and if, you know, that rage is an understandable, I, you know, I'm not for violence. I'm not. I know violence. And yet, when you push people that far, and we're talking about, you know, the, the, the terror, really, the terror that is visited on these communities. If you have a son, an African, you're an African-American family, you have a teenage son, and he's not home at 11, you start to wonder if he's been shot. Or your daughter. Or your daughter. And so, uh, um, but, you know, if there is a violent reaction, and there may be, it's, it's you know, again, it's, a, it's, I'm not condoning it, but, you know, to understand is not to condone, but we must understand. Um, the mass media will use it in the same way they use the atrocities carried out by ISIS to paint these people as less than human and to justify further repression by the state. Um, and, and that is the insidious system of mass propaganda and a, and a commercial media that um, in the end acts as little more than courtiers for the power elites. Mm -hmm.